was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that you do, except God is with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say to you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Nicodemus doesn't know how to be born again. He doesn't even know what it means. However, Jesus says that it is essential for entering the kingdom of God. Because of Adam's sin in the garden, we are born without God's spirit in us. Every generation since has been born, literally, with the sinful nature in us. Because God is holy, righteous, and just, and without sin, we are separated from God at birth. By default, we are literally headed towards hell, eternal separation from God. We are born once in Adam, separated from God, which is why we need to be born twice, born again. Just to show you that it is by default, he that believes on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So that shows right there. Those who believe on him, who's him, Jesus, are not condemned. But those who do not believe in Jesus are condemned already. That's from John 3.18. And no one is born believing in Jesus. The Bible says that no one seeks God on their own. God is constantly calling us to the truth of Jesus Christ. How is one born again? Well, first, confess that you are a sinner. I am a sinner. Christians are sinners. The difference is Christians admit we are sinners. We know we are sinners. And we know that we desperately need a Savior, and that Savior is Jesus Christ. Ask for Jesus to forgive you of your sins. He's the only one that can forgive you of your sins. It's faith in Jesus alone. Jesus is sinless, and when Jesus went to the cross, he took our place on the cross. We were the ones supposed to be there. We're the sinners. But Jesus is God. He never sinned, yet he went to the cross to pay for our sins. Jesus paid for our sins with his blood. Our sins required a perfect blood sacrifice, and that sacrifice is Jesus Christ. God is eternal, and it required an eternal sacrifice. Nobody else could do it. Because Jesus is God, he is the only one who could have done it. Once Jesus went to the cross and shed his blood for us, he said, It is finished. And it was finished. Jesus made the perfect payment for our sins. Jesus died on the cross for us. He was dead. The Roman soldiers didn't even have to break his legs which they normally did. He was dead. They stuck a spear in him just to make sure, and out came water and blood. Jesus was taken down from the cross. He was buried, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead. By rising from the dead, Jesus proved that everything he said was true. He really is the Son of God. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the right hand of the Father. Salvation is a free gift from God. All you need to do is receive it. 
Confess that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe in Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross and put all your faith and all your trust in him alone. There are many false teachers that teach that you need to do additional things to be saved. You need to do this and this. It is by faith alone in Jesus. None of us are good enough. God says that our greatest deeds are filthy rags in his eyes. So it's just receiving Jesus' payment, his sacrifice by faith alone on our behalf. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. This verse shows that it is faith alone, not of yourselves, it is faith alone. So now you know how to be born again, and the next step is with you. You are the one that needs to call on Jesus Christ. Call on him. Call on him to save you. Ask him, cause me to be born again. Confess your sins. Believe in him. Trust in him. Jesus is alive and well, and he is coming back. And we don't know the hour when he's coming back. Don't wait to make that decision. Satan will try to keep you occupied from making that decision. We don't know when our last breath is. We don't know when our heart will be for the last time. Make the decision right now and call on Jesus Christ to save you. He is real. He is the truth and the life. Jesus says, I am the truth, the way and the life. No one sees the Father except through me. When we receive Jesus, we receive the Holy Spirit. We receive God within us. That is being born again. Our spirit is renewed. We are no longer in Adam. We are born again in Jesus Christ. Free and no longer condemned. Forgiven.